Guys, what is going on? I have another YouTube video for you guys today. Of course, it's a bow perspective. 1v1 versus mages, guys. This is a tough one for us, right? This is probably our one duel that actually is a very, very challenging one for us to win is against these fire mages. Even after the nerf, I still feel like I'm getting hit pretty hard by fire staff. I think they nerfed it a little too hard, but we're not going to get into that on this video, guys. Right now, I have my buddy, June Baby. He's a guy I do all the time on our server, Castle of Steel. He's a top-tier mage. Very, very good at the game, guys. One of the best mages on our server. One thing he does run that you guys will notice is he wears light gear. Uh, he's one of the few mages I see that wear light gear. I think if he runs medium gear, it makes it even harder for us to win. But he runs light gear. I'm gonna, I have a few duels here for you guys. We're going to watch them in real time. And then I'll go back and we'll break them down and kind of go over some key points as to why I think I won that duel uh, and go from there, guys, right? Let's let's get into it. Here we go. I'm excited, man. These were some good duels on both of our ends right here. Side note, again, you will hear me in the background. I took this right out of my live stream. We're live every night at 7.30 Eastern. Make sure you guys pull up. Let's go. This we're just going back and forth. Oh, I did that pretty much early. You got dodged that. It's kind of lit. Nice. Ooh. Nice, man. Rapid fire just fucking pumps. Not just bad, not bad, so not bad. bad, guys. So obviously right there, right? What's the key component to winning every duel as a bow player? It's hitting every single shot. I think I missed one or two this duel only. If you guys are hitting every shot, there's nothing in the game that can beat you. We absolutely pump damage. Let's watch that again. I'll go over a key point that I thought I saw when I won this duel right here. Ooh, I, premature yeah, shot on my end, but no big. I get the poison yeah, shot down. Right. Very, very clean. Nice. nice. Right on his charge, I have pen shot locked and loaded, so it's an easy direct hit. It interrupts his charge, and I get free big hit with penetrating shot. That was very, very nice on my end, guys. Let's roll into the next part here. Nice. So I fletch through him, right, guys? It's all about bobbing and weaving, hitting those 180s. This guy's got to hit a full camera 180 to keep track of me, man. I'm kind of... In and out of the screen. He can't really track me. Or if he is tracking me, it's a little harder for him to track me, right? Because we're all over the place. Right after I land, I know he ha I know I have a, a little bit of free time here while he tries to turn his camera to get back onto me. So this is where I stick the rapid fire. Ooh. Woo! Nice. And we get so much value out of it. I missed the first shot, but I hit the last two. And the third shot of rapid fire, as you guys know, is the big one. It staggers. It does the most damage. As long as you're hitting that last one and at least one other shot, rapid fire is worth, man. You don't even need to connect all three. I only hit two there, and you guys saw how much damage and how much value we got out of that. Let's dive right into the next duel, guys. The uh, really close duels all, all through all of these. That was a very nice one on my part. I'm not even going to try to downplay it. I'm, I'm kind of insane with the bow, guys. I've been running this so much. So many duels, so much experience with the bow, guys. I've been loving it. Let's go. Next duel. Here we go. See, why can't I ever hit the, the, the fucking thing on him? Oh, no, he dodged it. Clean. Nice. How is that not fully charged, bro? I'm so confused. Nice. We win. Oh, oh my goodness. That was a close one, guys. That was definitely a close one right there. All right. Let's play it from the beginning, right? Let's break down some key points that I think helped me win this duel. I definitely missed a couple more shots this time, but what I missed in my shots, I let, made up for my movability and being able to counter some of his plays here. So let's get into this. Woo! So right off the rip, I dodge fireball, guys. If you could pre predictively, preemptively dodge the fireball from the mage, you are setting yourself up for a very, very, very good chance of winning the duel. That is a big damage ability for them, especially off the rip, and especially since it's AoE, it's hard to dodge. But we're able to iframe it right there, and that puts us very, very far ahead in this duel. See, why can't I ever hit the... the, the All right, not bad. So I missed the shot there. I got the poison shot down. I threw out a counter, because I know how June Baby plays. I know he tried to get close with the rapier. We're able to counter it. We don't get the stun, though, because he avoids the stun. He dodges it or he evades it, something like that. I wasn't 100% sure what he did, but the stun doesn't go off. Not a big deal. Big misplay on my part, though. As you guys can see right here on this frame, I missed my penetrating shot. Absolutely whiffed it. Oh, that's so bad, guys. If you want to miss one shot, you want to make sure it's not your penetrating shot. It staggers. It does so much damage, and I completely whiff it here. But it's fine, right? Keep that positive mindset mid-duel and keep pushing through. Fucking thing on him. 
Oh, no. Rapid fire goes off. We did a pretty good play there. We didn't get hit at all by rapid fire with the roll away right after he finished his auto attack. He was only able to get another auto attack off during the whole time of our rapid fire. Thanks to that timing on our end. We only hit one of the rapid fire shots. Kind of whiffed the other two. Didn't get much value out of it. That ended up could have been being a bad play on my part. But luckily, Drew Baby whiffs the shot on me. So we're still looking okay in this 1v1 right now. Clean. Nice. How is that not fully charged, bro? I'm so confused. Right there, guys, as you saw, I tried to go for a full heavy charge into the head. Unfortunately, I let go of it right before it got fully charged. So it only hit light damage, a light attack damage, but we still connect it. So not terrible. It's getting pretty close, pretty down to the wire. I haven't been playing the best this duel as far as my accuracy goes, but we are doing a good job maneuvering, throwing out the reap here for the counters and the fletch and the movements. Let's watch the rest of this duel. Nice, we win. So that was that was beautiful, guys, right? We see the Fletch coming in. We have the Rapier out instantly. We hit a counter and we land the stun, right? It is very hard to predict the counters coming out. He's mid-Fletch. He's probably not expecting me to hit, throw a counter out, but we get the counter out. He's stunned. We roll away for the damage bonus and it's a clean shot to the head for a lot of damage. Woo! 1900 game on. over. We win that one. It's so very nice duel on, on our part, guys. Let's chest. jump into it's the next like duel right passive. here. I'm going to let it play through. And then we'll go back and we'll break it down like usual, guys. Let's get into it. It tells. It's like, no, you can't get countered by another rapier. Dude, I fucking threw. Nice. That was perfectly very nice for me. No, 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 yes. Full charge. No, I went, bro. I'm trolling. Oh, man, guys, I'm not going to lie. That looked like a pretty bad duel on my end. I missed a lot of shots. But again, again, guys, right? If you were working on that mobility, right? That moving around during the duel, throwing out the counters, hitting some good plays. Let's watch it back from the start. Honestly, not my best duel here, but some things did go right, right? And I, and I want to show you guys some situations where we're down pretty bad, right? I don't want to only show you where I'm stopping kids and rolling kids. I want to show you, like, when I'm actually doing bad, performing bad, so you guys can realize that it happens, right? Not every duel is going to be perfect. You're not hitting every shot 100% of the time. I want to show you guys some of these duels where we're actually not playing our best, right? Because we're not robots. We will miss shots sometimes. And I just wanted to showcase that. But let's get into this duel right here. Uh, not a great start for me, but let, let's go. Let, we'll break it down. It's like, no, you can't get countered by another rapier. So right there off the rip, right? Dog water. I miss poison shot. And no, I do land poison shot barely, but I miss penetrating shot. Whoa, what a waste, man. Missing penetrating shot is so bad, guys. Don't be like me. Be patient. Wait for your opportunity to actually land a penetrating shot and just fire the regular light attacks until then. You want to make sure you're hitting penetrating shot. So, so, so much damage from this ability, guys. Dude, Let's I keep watching. Do. Kind of get stuck on the fence there. Very awkward. I throw down a rapid fire right when he fletches. It could have gone bad for me, but luckily he came in with the counter. Our ability misses. Very lucky for me again. And the third hit nice. connects for the stagger. Very, nice for me. very, very lucky for me. I didn't plan any of that. Nice movement there by me, right? I definitely want to try to avoid that charge. It's a lot of free damage he can potentially get on me that I don't want him to get. So we avoid the charge. The charge does a good bit of damage, so I think it was worth there. Definitely hitting the double roll out of the way. We still don't even drain our stamina, so 100% worth avoiding that. Another miss by me. Atrocious. I hit. I connect full the charge. shot there. I go for the full charge no, headshot and whiff it. it. So bad. Another pen shot miss, but then two of our rapid fire shots connect, and we're good to go. We did a good job timing our rolls on the opposite of his auto attacks. Right, guys? If you notice that there, that's why we weren't getting hit. We were timing our rolls really well in between his auto attacks to make sure we were iframing it. And then we still missed some shots, but our movement and roll timing was on point. A lot of people I noticed aren't doing this iframe timing for their auto attacks. Make sure you guys are doing that and then make sure you're hitting your shots. This could have been a blowout duel if I just hit a couple more shots. But we still secure the win thanks to our movement, right, and our mobility. Let's go ahead and jump right into the next duel, guys. I think this is going to be the last one. And we'll break this one down after it's done playing through the same way we did the rest, guys. Let's get into it. Let's go. And we're just fucking either an outpost rush or we're in a war or we're in a duel just practicing and putting down arrows nonstop every day, man. It feels incredible. Ah, uh, and then there I go, missing. No, bro. Three hits. Fucking filthy. All right, guys. This was this was a duel I honestly didn't want to put in the YouTube video because I look terrible in it.
I look really bad, right? But I put it in here because I wanted to stress how important and how good I think rapid fire is, right? Let's start this duel over, man, because nothing went right for me in this duel, right? This was a really, really, really bad duel for me. I, I missed a lot, a lot of shots, but I wanted to showcase the ability of rapid fire, guys. We're putting down arrows nonstop every day, man. It feels incredible. Uh, so right there, I missed penetrating shot again, guys. Holy smokes, man. Make sure you're hitting your penetrating shots. But I'm not giving up mid-duel when I miss, right? I keep that mental positivity, and I know I'm going to come out on top, right? It's all about that winner mindset, guys. If you believe in yourself, then you can do it, man. It's that simple. Believe, believe, believe. I didn't give up. I kept pushing yeah, no, I through. Missing. Here we go. Missed. I hit that auto attack pretty clean. I whiff no, here. No. I roll. I whiff. He hits me. And then this is where it gets juicy, right? We are so far behind, but I know he does not fireball, and I plant for the rapid fire burst, right? And this is where we win the duel because we hit three hits. Every Fucking shot three. of rapid fire. June Baby's health is completely gone, guys. We completely turned this duel around. We finished with a Fletch or Poison. I'm not sure what took him out first, but I just wanted to showcase. Let's watch that one more time, right? The rapid fire is so, so, so good. So this is before rapid fire, right? We're losing in health a little bit. I missed a lot of shots. He's like 75 HP, right? He has a lot of health. But this is where rapid fire comes in clutch. I know he has nothing to stop no, this. Bro. I plant. Hit a mean three all hits. three triple rapid fire. And as you guys can see, all of his health is gone. You need to be running rapid fire. I see so many bow players that don't like rapid fire because they're using it incorrectly, right? Use it at the right time and hit your shots. And this is the comeback you can make, man. Look at my HP. We were able to bring it all the way back. So much damage hitting those three shots and the stagger. Fucking and as you can see, Jude Baby goes down. So in all my experience in Mage Duels, guys, to wrap this up, the main points I want to hit is try to preemptively dodge their fireball, either with counter with Rapier or I frame it with their roll, right? You could kind of, once you duel a mage once or twice, you kind of figure out when he's going to use it. A lot of mages like to use it in the opening because it does more damage when you're hub set life. So try to make sure you iframe it, right? If you can dodge that fireball, you're setting yourself up for a very, very, very successful duel. And the other thing is to hit your shots, guys. The bow does such a disgusting amount of damage. All you have to do is land your shots, go for the head, try to hit those aimed Try to hit those headshots, guys. It's not too hard to hit the headshots. If you're hitting them in the body already, start aiming for the head, especially in these close-range fights like this, guys. I, myself, need to work on that, but you guys should try to as well. The last point is, is try to be mobile, right? Time those iframe rolls with their auto attacks, so that way you're getting clean dodges on their hits. Make sure you're hitting your shots. Keep the movement going clean. You saw a lot of fletch throughs for the 180s on the camera, so that way we're bobbing and weaving all over the place. Do that movement. The most important thing, though, is dodge fireball, hit your shots. If you're doing that, you don't even need to worry about movement, man, right? If you're plucking down your shots, you can hit you as much as you want. You're going to out-damage him. But make sure you guys are also working on that movement because not everybody can hit every shot every time. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Please, it would help me out a lot. The last few videos I posted have been doing awesome. Thank you guys for that. We're live on Twitch every night at 7.30 Eastern. Make sure you come by the channel and tell me that the YouTube brought you, man. I want to make sure these videos are doing their part and getting us some more followers and growing this community, right, guys? Because we're going high. We're skyrocketing, baby. 2022 is our year. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll catch you all on the next YouTube video. Thank you.